The ancient and powerful Western African Kingdom of Dahomey became a colony of France in the 1800s. In the 1900s it made the transition into a self-governing republic, then a Marxist-Leninist state, and then a free democracy, all within less than a century. Now called the Republic of Benin, it occupies a strategic political and commercial position on the Gulf of Guinea. Porto Novo is the official capital and seat of the legislature. However, the president and most of the government ministries reside in the port city of Cotanu, which is also the country's largest city and commercial center. Area 44,310 square miles, 114,763 square kilometers. Population, 2020 est. 12,252,000. Land and climate. A small country, Benin consists of five natural regions. The coastal area is low, flat, and sandy and is backed by lagoons. North of the coast is the Bar Country, a fertile clay plateau. North and west of the Bar are the Benin Plateaus, ranging in height from 300 to 750 feet, 90 to 230 meters. The Atacora Mountains in the northwest are a continuation of the Togo mountain chain and reach an altitude of 2,100 feet, 640 meters, at their highest point. In the northeast are the plains of the Niger River Valley. The climate is tropical. Temperatures in the south range from 72 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius. In the drier north they average 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius, but the temperature range varies greatly from day to night. People. Most of Benin's people live in the south. More than 40 ethnic groups live in the country, but the Fon make up about two-fifths of the population. Other large groups include the Adjara, Yoruba, Bariba, Fulani, and Samba peoples. About two-fifths of the people are Christian, about a quarter are Muslim, and another quarter follow traditional religious beliefs. French is the official language, but most people use Fon, Adja, Yoruba, Bariba, Fulani, and other languages in their everyday life and in the elementary schools. Economy. Benin is among the world's poorest countries. About half of Benin's workforce is engaged in agriculture. Corn, maize, cassava, fruits, nuts, beans, and yams are grown on small plots, mostly for consumption by the farmers and their families. Cotton and oil palm fruit are more likely to be grown for sale and export. Livestock is raised for milk and meat, and fishing plays a large part in domestic trade. Factories process foods and cotton and make textiles. Benin also has small petroleum reserves in an offshore oil field. History. Between the 12th or 13th century and the 19th century, five kingdoms, Alada, Abami, Wida, Niki, and Porto Novo, occupied the area that is now Benin. The people who settled in Abami called their nation Dahomey. In the 1600s Dahomey came under attack by Alada and strengthened its defenses. The 30-foot, 9-meter, walls that protected the palace of King Waybaja, Dahomey's first monarch, are still standing. Dahomey gradually consolidated its power and conquered neighboring states. The Dahomey Kingdom, one of the best organized states in Western Africa, was divided into six provinces, each ruled by a governor. Its army included a women's corps. The kingdom eventually expanded to the coast, where there were European slave traders. The demand for slaves made it profitable for kingdoms to take captives they could sell. Thus warfare increased throughout the region. Dahomey signed a commercial treaty with France in 1851, but French interest in the area extended beyond trade. When the neighboring kingdom of Porto Novo requested protection from rival powers, the French willingly helped. France also conquered vast inland territories to the north, realizing that control of Dahomey and the nearby kingdoms would link the interior lands with the sea. Dahomey became a French protectorate in 1894, but the African population violently resisted this action. The resistance continued through both World War I and World War II, when Western Africans were drafted to fight for the French, many against their will. Meanwhile, France had combined all of its Western African colonies into a vast administrative unit called French West Africa. In 1959 Dahomey became an autonomous republic in the French community. It achieved independence on August 1, 1960, but kept the colonial borders that divided its various ethnic groups. This division of the people separated communities that had long lived together, and the government had difficulty building a sense of national unity. 
As a result, the government became weak and unstable. A group of army officers led by Mathieu Kareku seized control of Dahomey in 1972, claiming that the government was corrupt and did not meet the people's needs. President Kareku proclaimed a policy of Marxist-Leninist scientific socialism in 1974. A year later he changed the country's name to the People's Republic of Benin and took control of major foreign companies. In 1979, under a new constitution, a National Revolutionary Assembly was elected. It continued to re-elect Kareku to five-year terms. Benin's only commercial bank collapsed at the end of 1988. Student protests and widespread strikes, coupled with the downfall of communism in Eastern Europe, forced Kareku to renounce his orthodox Marxist policies by the end of 1989. In 1990 his power was reduced as an effort was made to turn the country into a multi-party democracy through the adoption of a new constitution. The country's name was also changed back to the Republic of Benin. Prime Minister Nikifor Soglo defeated Kareku on March 24, 1991, in the country's first free presidential election in nearly 30 years. In 1996 Kareku defeated Soglo at the polls to regain power in Benin. With his defeat, Soglo became the first democratically elected leader in sub-Saharan Africa to be ousted from office. Kareku was re-elected in 2001, but the election was marred by charges of voting irregularities. Kareku's age made him ineligible to run for another re-election. He retired in 2006, and Thomas Yayi Boni, former chief executive of the West African Development Bank, was elected president.